curveball. Once you've mastered being able to throw the Pokeball with a simple flick, it's time to try out the Curveball. As you progress through each level, getting as much XP as possible will help you, as well as to capture some of the more difficult Pokemon. What you do is press and hold the Pokeball, then drag and spin the ball into a circle until it starts spinning and sparkling. Where you would normally throw the ball straight, flick it more to the right, and repeat this until you capture the Pokemon. Once you master this technique, you'll get an extra 10 experience points, which will add up quickly. Pikachu! Haven't started playing Pokemon Go yet? Here's how you capture Pikachu, the most well-known and popular Pokemon, before those who've been playing for a while do. While you first start playing the app, you'll get a set of starter Pokemon such as Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander. Instead of catching one of them, walk away. You'll get another alert for the Pokemon once again. Walk away five times and then Pikachu will appear as your new, fancy starter Pokemon. Pick your evolution. Eevee has three evolutions, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon. Those who've been evolving their Eevees manually have depended on the luck of the draw to see which ones they want. But there is actually a way to pick your preferred evolution. Think back to the trainers from the original television show, Rainer, Pyro, and Sparky. If you want a Vaporeon, name your Eevee Rainer. If you want a Flareon, name your Eevee Pyro. And if you want a Jolteon, name that Eevee Sparky. This secret has been tested and trained by other players, and it turns out to be true. Tracking. If you click on the window of the lower right, you'll see a grid with nearby Pokemon listed, with a set of paw prints underneath each one. If there is nothing under the image, then the Pokemon is practically underneath you and very close. Or if there is only one paw print, it means the Pokemon is nearby. The Pokemon on the top left is the closest to you, and the ones on the lower right are the furthest from you. Select the Pokemon you want to find, and this will help you gauge whether or not you're heading in the right direction of your desired Pokemon. If the Pokemon you desire moves closer to the left, you're heading in the right direction. If it moves to the right, then you're going the wrong way. Though this won't work until the dreaded three steps glitch has been fixed. Getting more Pokemon. If you're gonna be at one location for a while and you wanna make the most of your Pokemon hunting, then turn on a lure module. It's recommended that you turn these on in bars, restaurants, and shops for optimal catching. Every three to five minutes, a new Pokemon will appear, and there's a good chance that a rare one might make an appearance as well. Along with a lure, you can use an incense. All you need to do is sit and wait and the Pokemon will literally come right to you. Toss a lucky egg on top of it all and you'll be leveling up in no time. Catching harder Pokemon. As you progress through each level, you'll encounter rare Pokemon as well as Pokemon with higher CP, making them more difficult to capture and contain in the Pokeballs. This can be really frustrating, especially if you encounter a rare Pokemon that just keeps breaking free of its Pokeball. But once you hit level 6, you'll be able to obtain Raspberries, which will calm the Pokemon down, somewhat, and give you a better chance for capture and containment. On top of this, at higher levels, you'll obtain Great and Ultra Balls to help trap those pesky Pokemon. Pokestops and Ingress. Before Pokemon Go, Niantic created another geo-catching game called Ingress, which is a similar treasure hunting game. Turns out that Pokemon Go uses the same maps as Ingress to populate their Pokestops and gyms. So if you're an Ingress player and you see a portal on your map, they translate to Pokestops. Also, did you know that Pokestops refresh after five minutes? So there's no need to just use a Pokestop once. Gym Battles. Most players think that CP, or combat power, makes the final decision on whether or not your Pokemon can beat the dominator of a gym. That's not quite the case if you know the loophole. When you battle your enemy, you have the ability to dodge left or right and avoid enemy attacks. The enemies you battle are fighting you using artificial intelligence, therefore don't have the ability to dodge. Not to mention that you can see your opponent and you can pick six different Pokemon to battle. By strategically selecting your Pokemon, for example, using your Charmander, Fire, to beat a Bulbasaur, Grass, you have a better chance of victory and taking over the gym. Turn AR off. While having the AR feature turned on, you have the ability to see Pokemon in augmented reality, or in the real world. While this feature has created some of the most epic photos of Pokemon photobombing real-life situations, it makes capturing Pokemon a bit more difficult. Plus, it has been known to cause the app to freeze or slow down, making your capture attempts more complicated. If you turn off the AR mode, you'll be able to better catch Pokemon with little to no interruption. Plus, it's more battery efficient. You can catch them all. 
If you're okay with traveling and walking around to play the game, then you technically can try to catch all of the Pokemon listed in your Pokedex. While it's a tedious feat, you can capture them all. While others will give their Pokemon to Professor Willow in exchange for candy, which will help you evolve your lower range Pokemon, some may decide to go the route of traveling and walking as much as they can. If you manage to get some eggs from a Pokestop, the more you walk, the more you hatch. There are eggs that hatch at 2 kilometers, 5 kilometers, and 10 kilometers. The best Pokemon hatch at 10 kilometers, which means you have a good deal of walking ahead of you. Alright folks, thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully you learned at least one or two tips and tricks for dealing with those pesky Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Well